What is up, everyone? Mike Johnson here. Today we're working on the Samba. You know you're excited. You gots to be. It's the Samba. The Samba is Brazilian and its energy and its excitement and it's, it's all that stuff. I mean, I don't want to get too goofy about it and be like, Samba. But, dude, it's tight. This is like, you know, for Brazil, this is their high energy, exciting music. So we have to bring that to the kit when we're doing this stuff. All right. Now, it's a four-way independence type thing. So you can think of it that too, even if you're not learning it to play traditional sambas, you can learn it as a four-way independence exercise because each limb is doing something different, all right? So let's start with the feet. Uh, the feet are playing kind of a traditional Brazilian rhythm, um, which is just one, two, and three, four, and one. And we're going to go really slow in the beginning. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. And that just repeats constantly, and that's to fit with the bass player. All right, I won't sing bass for you anymore. I'm sure it's pretty annoying. Um, okay, so that's the foot pattern. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. And you want to have a real good grasp on that. And before you get too heavy into this thing, you might even want to start thinking about playing some simple things, just quarter notes and eighth notes against it, maybe some paradiddles and some double strokes. Get your freedom built up because we're going to need a lot of freedom to do the parts that we're going to have to do with the hands. Now, there's traditional Brazilian samba rhythms where the ride follows the snare drum pattern, but what we're going to do to create a little bit more difficulty on the coordination side, we're going to play kind of the jazz samba ride pattern, which is just one, two, and three, four, and one. I'll play it nice and slow for you. All right, so what we can do once we've got that down and we've played with the feet a little bit, we'll put those three things together. So we're going to go kick drum, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. Left foot, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Right hand, ding, 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 ding one, two, and three, four, and one. What's really cool about this on the coordination side is that at the moment, the right hand goes right with the feet. So everything's kind of together, very non-linear. Everything is playing at the same time. It's the left hand that's going to kind of screw us up. So let's try this first. Right, so let's take that same thing, speed it up a little bit because, you know, the samba is a faster style of music in Brazil. So we need to get some speed on this thing. Jane did the Jane did the doom, did the doom, did the doom. Really start to create that energy and that vibe that makes people run around half naked throwing beads at each other. So you're feeling good with that, you're creating some energy, and now it's time to bring in the left hand. The left hand sucks because it's really hard. Uh, but just take it one note at a time and you will get it down. Now, the left hand part by itself is just a two measure pattern. It's two downbeats, three upbeats, two downbeats. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's the left hand part. Now, I wouldn't just put it all together. What I would do is take like the two parts we've learned so far and try to put that with the left hand. So the first thing I would do is try to play it with my feet. I would just go doom, 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 and try to get that left hand. So that's what here's what that would sound like.
then I would take that same thing and play it with the ride. So leave the feet out, play the ride cymbal pattern and work on that left hand to see if I could get that down. It would sound like this. All right, and then once I had that coordination down and felt really comfortable with it, then I'd try to put it all together, um, and that would give us this. So that's the samba with a little kind of samba slash jazz ride cymbal pattern. Uh, make sure you don't swing it. You don't want ding, ding, da ding, ding, da ding. You want a real straight one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three going on. And then if you want to make it more traditional, just follow the ride with the snare, play them in unison, and that'll give it more of a traditional Brazilian feel. I hope you guys got something out of that. Keep checking out the Latin videos. These things are great for your coordination, even if you're not going to apply them directly to Latin, Brazilian, Afro-Cuban drumming. You can still use them to build up your drum repertoire. All will be good. Peace!